In this video, I demonstrate how I ground my Ethernet system and my electric field meter. So on the left, you can see my Ethernet ground adapter and my electric field meter. And I like to ground this meter because it provides much more accurate electric field readings. Now, the simplest way to ground everything is with this plug to gator attachment, which you can get for about $10 on less EMF. And you'll simply plug it in to a properly grounded electrical outlet and then have metal to metal to your Ethernet ground adapter or the electric field meter. Now, while this is the simplest way to ground things, there can be some problems. And one of them is that there's often EMI on your electrical safety ground. So if you're connecting your Ethernet system to this, that electromagnetic interference is going to transmit to your laptop. And this is not a healthy result. And I'll provide some videos that demonstrate this. The other thing is that in rare circumstances, there can be voltage on the ground wire. And if you're connecting your electric field meter to this, then the readings won't be very accurate. And I'll provide a, a video that demonstrates this as well. So to get around these problems, what I like to do is ground out to the backyard. So if you have access to a backyard, you can ground with these systems here. So the first is what I use for travel. And it has a simple copper wire that I've put into the ground, and then a 50-foot extension cable, and a gator-to-gator -gator clip, which I will attach to the ground adapter or my electric field meter. And this works really well, but when I'm in a more permanent location, I like to use a more robust system, like this copper ground stake and this thick copper wire. And you want to use four gauge and even thicker because that will actually ground some of the higher frequencies that are on your ethernet system. And you can get a set like this for about 10 or $15 at the electrical store. So this is how I ground both my Ethernet system and my electric field meter. And hopefully this takes some of the confusion out of this process so that you can have a much healthier computer setup.